while since we um, all my life I believe that loving someone was just too much for me to handle I've always been so afraid to be vulnerable and so afraid to be hurt so I start like bold bright colors yeah when I'm down Love for me requires too much work, too much risk, and too much sacrifice. And I was so sure I was better off alone. And then I met you. You ready? There are no accidents in God's plan. And I think the two of you know that in your own story. That is how providential our God is. And perhaps that is the first prayer I have for you that you constantly realize that God is a loving and providential God. That while He has laid out to you the patterns of your story, He has given you the freedom to write that story together with Him and begin to write your story with our Lord today. And you do things to me like My dearest Teresa, you have no idea how much I prayed for someone so smart, so passionate, so beautiful inside and out. You are my best friend and you are my soulmate. From the moment I met you, I fell in love with a million things that you probably will never know until today. In the midst of the many challenges that you faced, ultimately what was constant in those challenges were the graces available to you. Perhaps not very clear at the start, but I think as you look back, you realize that those graces were present. And now as you look back, it becomes really one tremendous experience of God's blessing. Before the altar of the Lord, before family and friends, ready to commit yourselves. Esa, do you take Sam here present for your lawful husband, according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Sam, do you take Esa here present for your lawful wife, according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. When Sam came into her life, there was a certain tone, a particular manner she would talk about Sam that was different. I knew she found the one. Maybe at first she wasn't sure, but she was studying and seriously considering. And when she started to think about the what ifs, I knew this is it. I knew serioso na to. She's in love. Eto na. Esa, my best friend. Of course, before Sam came in the picture. We started our friendship in Cebu so many years ago. My friends in Cebu are there. If somebody hurts me, Esa is my main protector. She's the type of best friend who fights for you. That's how tough she is, and also how she protects the people she loves. We're missing one best man, no? who has been known to uh, as I mentioned, she met a nice guy offhand. She was telling me all about the positive traits in a guy whom, take note, she didn't want to date. So me, being her best friend, I felt I had to intervene because I felt it was my responsibility to make sure that Essa will have a happy life. So making sure that she will be with the right guy for life is really a big thing for me. For those that say that none of us can be committed, this guy is effing committed. 16 years, 2,976 shows, 
11,626 hours that we've worked together. That's a lot of commitment. I could not have done the show without these two and Sam. Uh, we've been to five continents, 33 different countries, and a whole bunch of cities. So if there's anyone that knows Sam, it's myself. There's no one I would rather take a bullet for, which he knows I would have. It's unbelievable what we've been through. Thank you, Sam, for uh, all those uh, words of wisdom that you've uh, actually given us. So we actually do have serious talk when it's not on Boys Night Out. And Sam is uh, one of the more serious guys that you can talk with. And he was looking forward to this night and to, to be with you, Essa, forever. Si Sam, uh, mabait naman, makalat lang talaga. Minsan makalat, minsan nagkakalat. It's very hardworking, you know, very uh, generous also. So, congratulations. <laughs> I wish you all the love, both of you, and happiness, and lots and lots of kids. There are magic moments in our life when everything that makes us happy can be reversed. And he writes very beautifully and eloquently that magic moment when all the power of the stars is given to us to turn that moment into happiness. When I first met Sam, I still remember that it was a Christmas party. But anyway, that was not the thing that struck me the most about this kid. He was a young kid then. You know what struck me the most? I tell him this, he knows this, was his humility. He was such a nice, decent young boy. Believe me, guys, huh? I was there. I'm not surprised where he is now. I'm not totally surprised. In fact, I would have been terribly disappointed if he didn't reach this level of success. Sam, you have the best heart, and I don't know what I did right in this life to deserve you. Thank you for loving me even when I'm difficult and for choosing me even when I make things complicated. Before you, I was floating through life untethered. Now I have found a home and I have found purpose. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you every step of the way, even in times when I'm annoyed at you. I promise to respect and appreciate our differences, to learn and grow with you despite the fact that I'm stubborn and set in my ways. I promise to put you first and to trust you completely and wholeheartedly, no matter how insecure or small I may feel. I will take you in my arms when you need to be held. I will listen when you need to talk. I will laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sadness. I will love you for who you are and help you all the way to become all that you want to be. started to get serious with Sam because her constant battle with herself was becoming more regular. Sam never gave up on her. Sam was always there, steadfast and loyal to her. Sam is the right person for Essa to take down all her shields, armors, and walls. That he is really the one who will make sure that Essa will never get hurt and will take care and love Essa even more than we all do. Today I'm getting married. Uh, people always ask how my feeling about excited. Come back. Are you nervous? Honestly, it's a whole ball of emotions. I don't know what the first one made you excited, the next made you nervous. Um, am I gonna cry? <laughs> Essa, a warm welcome to the family. I'm so happy that Sam, you found a life partner so loving and have the same values match made in heaven. May we all survive tonight. <laughs> Sam, I'm a proud mom. You are a very responsible, loving, and caring son. You are always there for me. 
you inspire me and give me strength. Having you around, I feel safe and strong. I'm confident that as you enter this new chapter of your life, you will be a good husband and a good family man and a great father for all my apples to come. My son, forever my baby. <laughs> And now, Sam, the gift that is Essa, I share with you. I know in my heart you will take care of her and make her feel even more special. Please continue to make her laugh and smile. You're a good man, Sam. Welcome to the family. We are blessed to have you in our lives. Grand is a beautiful Rolls Royce with 35 million pesos. And I'm so excited because I vow to be your husband, your partner, your protector, the father of our future kids, your lover, and of course, your biggest fan until my very last day. I love you and I can't wait to grow old with you. Sam and Angel, if you want to have a successful and a truly happy marriage, then live according to God's expressed rules. Angel, even until now, I cannot find the right words to express my love for you. So farewell, dearest daughter, and remember that you won't know what it's like to love somebody the way I love you. Hello. <laughs> Eza is my only daughter, my firstborn, my first love. Always on her birthday, I tell her that she's the gift, precious and beautiful. I don't know what I did to deserve a child like her. I am truly blessed. Essa, I am incredibly lucky to have you as a daughter and a friend too. Dearest Essa, Etana, I've never been more ready and excited in my life. You know how much I love you and how much you mean to me. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. See you in a few hours. says you have to take risks. I thank the Lord and I congratulate you for taking the risk. But love is worth all the risk because in the end love is the only grace that can make our lives whole, meaningful and worth living out with great joy. May the Lord bless you and keep you and may He let His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Wear this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Sam, wear this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us welcome Mr. and Mrs. Sam and Esa God. And above all, I promise to choose you every single day and to make life worth all the work it takes to live because you are worth it. You are worth all the work, all the risk, and all the sacrifices, and I am all in. I offer you all of me from this day forward, the broken and damaged bits, as well as the parts that have kept me going and have brought me here today. You make me so much better than I could ever be on my own, and I never want to know life without you. Getting to love you is quite literally the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you in always and for always. <laughs> 